regular listeners of the podcast will no doubt have heard me talk about this before. Um, but I guess my, one of my fundamental beliefs about leadership is that kind of a leader exists to deliver the results for which they're accountable for and to look after the people that they've got the privilege and responsibility to lead. And I've, I've said for years, because everyone that we lead is someone's mum, dad, husband, wife, brother, sister, et cetera, et cetera. And I've never heard anybody anybody say that before. And I just heard, heard you say, and I don't say that because I claim that kind of insight is uniquely mine or kind of I'm some, some guru in terms of leadership. But the reason I share this now is like a, a lot has been said probably over the past 10 years since Simon Sinek's TED Talk and book, Start With Why, about finding people who believe what you believe and kind of that's what drives motivation. And it's fascinating. As I heard you, you say that, like I just got this like strong sense of connection with you and thought there's a guy kind of I'd love to hang out with, I'd love to work with because we've got this this shared belief. And I just just thought it was worth kind of sharing with listeners. Like that's the power of kind of purpose and getting really clear on on what you stand for, right? And I, I'd imagine when those that work w- within Osprey kind of for you alongside you, when when they understand that's one of the main drivers for why you do what you do that's got to be hugely motivating and inspiring for them, right? And make them want to, to come to work and do their best. Well, I hope so. Um, obviously, you'd have to ask them. But, <laughs> I, but I, hope, I hope that it does. I mean, I hope that you know, we all spend so much of our time in a, in a work environment. You know, so much of our lives is spent, I, I'd like to say, in an office, but clearly the last 15 months, it, not quite the case. But so much of our lives is spent working for organisations, um, for companies, for businesses, um, whatever it is, we're all failing if we don't make that you know, that huge part of all of our lives as fulfilling, as exciting, as enjoyable as we possibly can. Because it has such an impact on everything else that we do. It has an impact on the way that we relate to our our, our families, our children. You know, and I've I've seen this, and we we you know we've been through some tough times as a business, and I've always done my very best to stop it having an impact on my life my family my children but I came to a realization that I can't distinguish the two or, or don't want to distinguish the two they're, they're both huge huge parts of my life and therefore um, I've got to make sure that, that that big part that I spend in the office I find inspiring and enjoyable and and, and it's one of the reasons why we started the, the business was because I just wasn't getting that inspiration and that and enjoyment elsewhere. But I want everybody else in the in in the company to feel that same way, to to want to come to work, to enjoy it because it is exciting and, and inspiring and, and enjoyable and makes their lives better, not not worse. So yeah, that's a that's a very, very important part of it.